Hello, welcome back, spent our video today. We're going to look at the font part in the home tab, or we can say font ribbon in the home tab. So if you don't understand this terminology as ribbon, tabs, and even worksheet, please watch the introduction part of for this Microsoft Excel. And also, all the link I will provide below. So also, if you don't understand about the clipboard they are uses, we have discussed in the previous video, so you can check it. Let's move into fourth part. In the fourth part, we have this item you see here. If I say oh, two lines of item, see? So we're going to, to look at their uses. The first one here, it is called the what? Font. So here it is what type of font that you want. Example, this what time here. It's a, you can click the cell here to become activated. After that, if I wanted to change their font, simply. I can change difference first this time. There is algebraic, there is archaeal, there are also the all of them. Example if I want to use this one, simply click it. You see the font of this B1 is different to other font because it is applied to different font. So you can change different item depending that you want. If you want to change more than one cell, example if I want to change this three cell, I can highlight them and then to select the particular format the font that they want you see this there is cell here of different cell to another as you see here also let's check this second one this second one is called the font size if i wanted to increase or decrease or to have the particular size of font example i want this 55 to have size difference like you say i have to want it to be 28 you can click here and then change into their font after that you see it is have different size to other as you see all of them has 11 size so if you wanted to change you can click like that example 48 here you see difference size you can change it also these two here it is the also font size but it is say increase font size and this decrease font size if i wanted to increase slightly or decrease slightly just click the same and then click the cell size that you want and see like increase or decrease this is the uses of this two a increase or decrease font font size <coughs> also after that before moving on please what i want from you please support me by click the subscribe button and turn notification bell into all so as to not miss any coming video okay let's move to another line the second line is to start with b so let's look what their uses of this this B stands for bold, or we can say control B if you want to apply direct by command. So control B is mean that you are you are the bold is standing for bolding your item. Example C here, I want this C to become bolded. Simply click the cell after activated the cell, click here. You see the cell, the C become bolded. If I increase the size, you see, you see it is bolded, and this is the size 48. Look another like this, let's say D into 48 size without bolded. What we, how would it look like? You see, this is 48 and this is 48 size, but you see the difference. This is bolded, but this is not bolded. This is use of what? The, the item bolded here. Also, let's look this the second one. This is called the italic. Or say it's stand for control I. If you wanted to italize the, your content or in the Microsoft Excel. Example, this is 85. I want to become italized. Simply I click the cell. After activated the cell, click this one. See, it is italized. If I increase the cell, you will see. You see how it is look like? It is italized. As you see here, the style of italization. Being italized. That's one. Also, there is a U here. It is standing for underlined. Example, here you see 54 here. If you click this, underlined it become underlined if we increase the size you see see this item here you come underlined the difference to to others see here also also here there is an option here as you see say no bold it is what the means of the no border means that the item is not bordered example if i wanted to copy the data from the microsoft excel into another user example microsoft one the data will become bordered so if I want to do not have border, simply I can click no border. So the particular item that copy here will not have border. So
So example here, if I click this cell, say no border. If I wanted to change it into the particular border, example top border, it means that if after after copying this, you see here at the top, like border. If I copy this item here, it will, in the final position, example Microsoft Excel, or right, will become border. So this is the uses of this border, no border. This they are many. There's a drawable border. If you want to change the particular data, yeah, you copy the data with the border in the Microsoft Excel, you can use this option here. Let's check these two remaining part. The first one, it is called the fill color. Fill color, the color become back. You can change the background colors. Example, he this 33. This 33 is component, but their face here as a background, it is another thing. If it's background, we can change color by using this fill color. Example, after click this cell and then click the fill color, the cell all the cell become colored. If I increase the size of this, this you see the cell the cell become colored, but the item do not become colored, as you see here. So if you wanted to change the color of the particular item, also, you can change this air. After click the air, you see it is become color. So if you want more color, you can click just here and you change the different color. Example, you can say this. Also, if you want to change color of the font, you can click here and change the different color, even white here, depend on your on your option. So this is the users of the font part in there the home in the home tab so i hope you understand it very much so please click like it and then click subscribe button if you do if you don't do before it so click subscribe button and turn notification bell into all so as not miss any coming i can video our next video will discuss about the alignment ribbon in the in the home tab don't miss it please okay thank you